Rising tensions between the U.S. and Russia after a Russian fighter jet downed one of our drones. The Pentagon is defending its decision to declassify and release video of the incident. Our chief global affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is in Washington with more. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Lindsay. Russia remains defiant this morning, over the top defiant, giving the Russian fighter pilots awards for preventing what they call an American airspace violation over the Black Sea, and still denying that the Russian pilots caused the drone to crash. This despite that stunning video taking an international airspace of the Russian jets recklessly approaching the drone at high speed, which they did 19 times, and dumping a load of fuel on top of it. You see it there. On the final approach, which the Pentagon believes is when the collision occurred, more fuel dumped, the video lost for about 60 seconds, and when it returns, you can clearly see a bent propeller on the drone. The drone operator still had some control, and they guided it into the waters, where Russian ships then surrounded the crash site. But the Russians saying they do not intend to retrieve the drone from the bottom of the sea, although officials say they have gotten a bit of debris. But the Pentagon says it doesn't matter. The drone has already been remotely wiped of sensitive information. Michael. All right, Martha, thank you for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.